Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about the low quality of Modern Masters 2015 and what that means for future prices. I've talked to your store owner, uh, my one of my favorite store owners. He owns a video game store and carries mats. Like if you watch my channel, you you know exactly. Like I have anime toys. I'm going to get like new anime toys. They're going to get shipped in like Friday. I'm going to buy a box of Modern Ma a case of Modern Masters for seven hundred dollars a box. No, seven hundred dollars a case. Seven hundred dollars box would have been terrible. Uh, seven hundred dollars a case. Maybe I'm going to get two cases. Maybe I get one case. I don't know yet. It's up to me because he's holding two cases. I'm definitely going to get one. I think seven hundred dollars. I will buy. I definitely. What am I talking about? I'm going to get the second case, and I want to. The low quality of Modern Masters 2015 is having a large impact in Houston, and the reason Houston is kind of weird is Houston is like so hot and humid. Like it's either 95 degrees or like 100 degrees and we're not in like July yet. So in July it might be like 105 degrees and it's so the humid, like it's so humid, like you just feel it. Like, even air conditioning like I feel like just like gross all the time. Like you walk out for like five minutes and you, you walk back in to pick up your mail and you feel gross. You just feel sticky and gross. Now, Modern Masters 2015 is not tightly sealed. So even in packs, sometimes, like if there's enough like heat and it's left in a car, and like a, a tightly sealed plastic pack, the foil can get kind of uh, curvy. Uh, even in sleeves, like my um, Snapcaster Mage foil sometimes curves a lot. And then you got like, double, even if you double sleeve it and over sleeve it, and triple sleeve it, it still gets like a little curve in it. Just because of Houston. And I've seen a ton of foils, especially like foil lots, like, Oh, especially the foils I put in my uh, boxes, like my loose boxes, like I just put like a bunch of foils, foils together and they get all curvy and stuff all the time. And it's, I, it's like they're in air conditioned, they're air conditioned the whole time in my storage and they still do that. So you have to ask yourself, hmm, I'm a Houston store owner. I know that this could be a problem. I know that the cards are being damaged or they could be damaged. I know the foil, I know the cardboard, the recyclable cardboard is not the best for like keeping the foil flat. I know there's a lot of damaged cards and nicks and all type of stuff that make my customers kind of angry. Why would I hold on to this product when I can buy the new Bushy Road product or the new anime toys or buy my Zelda Legends of Zelda video games to sell? Because the store, the store is different from the human being. The human being or the human magic player can be like, oh, I'll just keep this box and that will be that. Because they don't have a, the cost of opportunity of them keeping a box is much lower in the sense of magic profit than a store. A store's cost of opportunity is, uh-oh, we purchased all this stock and we have to uh, sell it, uh-oh. You know, I, I mean, it's kind of like uh, any store, really, when you have inventory and your inventory is taking all this space and all this money, you can't buy new inventory. And because you can't buy the new hot product, uh, let's assume that there's like a new Pokemon game that's super hot. But all your inventory is tied up in this Modern Masters 2015, which is like, you know, the foils are getting destroyed as we talk. Then the box damage, the, at least in Houston, my opinion, my personal opinion from what I've seen, store owners do not want to keep those boxes because they A, do not either have air conditioning, which you might be like, oh wow, that sounds ridiculous, but it's actually true. Or B, it's not always air conditioned. Those boxes are not always, when they leave the store, they turn off the light. Um, some days maybe they don't come to the store. And air conditioning is very expensive in Houston. It is super expensive. And there are so many ways I can see like the humidness and also the hotness destroying those foils for good. Like just, I. Like I'm gonna buy my case and I'm gonna put it in like the coldest part of my storage, uh, where I keep like, what do I keep there? Oh, I keep some anime figures there. I don't know why, but I'm gonna move my anime figures to the front of the storage. Oh, I know why, because of the some of them like, I don't know. It, it's a different topic, but anime figures sometimes when they get warm, they like deform. They like especially if they're in like tight spaces in the boxes as well. The plastic around the box sometimes gets really bad. So I'm going to keep my case of Modern Masters 2015 in the coldest part of my storage unit and hope, hope that helps. But a lot of times it doesn't. Like I, 
it's not a uh, maybe it's not an issue like if you live in a colder place, but in Houston, it's a tremendous issue that I'm very concerned about. Bye, guys.